open border so that anybody can come in and everybody else wants it to be closed. It's April Fools. We want an open border. That's April Fools. We want voter ID. They don't want voter ID. Who wouldn't want voter ID? 88% of the Democrats, except for the leadership, because they can't cheat with voter ID. But 88% of the Democrats want voter ID. But they don't want voter ID. It's April Fool's Day. They want to take the soldiers out of Afghanistan before we take our people and equipment out. But we want the soldiers to come out last. So then they blow it into a catastrophe, the most embarrassing event in the history of our country. It's April Fool's Day. They want all electric cars that don't go very far. I have a friend, he bought a car. He said, the car is wonderful, but you know, I go for an hour and a half and I got to put a charger and I can't find the charger. I'm going crazy. <laughs> and also all the batteries and everything, the material comes all out of China. We have oil and gas, but we don't want the oil and gas cars. But we want everything, including electric cars, but we also want gasoline because the cars go longer and they are preferred by many people. We don't like quick drives that are stopped for two and a half hours. It's April Fools. They want all electric stoves all over the country. But we don't have the electric power for that. And we want electric stoves, but we also want gas stoves. It's April Fools. Why do they want that? They want windmills all over the place that ruin our fields, kill our birds, and are very unreliable and are the most expensive energy ever developed. We want oil, gasoline, natural gas, because it's cheaper, better, and much more powerful. It's April Fool's Day. <laughs> Under my leadership, we will regain energy independence that we had three years ago. We were on our way to massive energy dominance. We would have been paying off our debt because energy is big numbers. It's not like you're selling a little product. You're selling the biggest product of all is energy. We would have been paying off our debt. We would have been the strongest. You know, we were going to be, we're already bigger under my administration, bigger than Saudi Arabia or Russia. We were going to be much bigger than both of them combined. Within about a year, we would have made the kind of money they're making times five. And we would have been paying off debt, and we would have been reducing taxes, and it would have been a beautiful thing. But they came in and they said, we don't want that. I will fight for a constitutional amendment to impose term limits on members of Congress. And I will move heaven and earth to fully and finally secure our elections. All Republican governors should immediately go for paper ballots.